Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kudif here. Today we are going to learn about the Chrome for testing availability dashboard in Selenium Manager, the Selenium 4.11.0. And uh, then we will see that how we can execute our test cases on the latest Chrome browser versions like 115, 116, 117, stable, beta, and so on. Okay, so friends, let's start. Before moving to practical parts, let's try to understand a couple of things theoretically. So let me open this official website of Selenium and see what it is written here. What's new in Selenium Manager? The Selenium 4.11.0. The Selenium 4.11.0 it's very relevant new features of Selenium Manager. Support of Chrome for testing endpoints for Chrome driver management and automated Chrome management. Okay. And next, as of the versions 4.6.0, all releases of Selenium, Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, and .NET are shipped with Selenium Manager. Selenium Manager is a binary library implemented in Rust that provides Automated driver management of Selenium. Selenium Manager is still in beta, although it is becoming a relevant component of Selenium. So, friends, I have created a very detailed video about this Selenium Manager. So, you can go here and just watch this one. Okay. So, here I have explained like what is Selenium Manager and how we can use in Selenium. In brief, I can tell you when you are using the Selenium Manager, you don't need to set the system dot set property to provide the path of your Chrome driver dot exe file and we don't need to use the web driver manager to provide the Chrome driver exe details. So basically when you are using Selenium manager then you don't need to worry about the uh, driver management part. Okay. So I will strongly recommend that please watch this out so that you can get uh, more details around the Selenium manager. Let's move back to our original point. Let's say that we have the Chrome browser version 114 on our system. Then download the same Chrome driver.exe or use the web driver manager to get the respective exe from this link. So let me open this link. Here you can see like we can get the Chrome driver.exe uh, file for various versions like 114, 113, uh, 112, and so on. But if we need to execute our test cases on 115 or the newer version, then what we need to do? So they are saying, so if you are using the Chrome browser version 115 or newer, please consult the Chrome for testing community dashboard. This page provides the convenient session endpoint or a specific Chrome driver version downloading. So let me click on this link. So this is the Chrome for testing availability, and if you notice, there is a small test written on this Chrome browser icon and this page lists the latest available task platform Chrome for testing versions and assets per Chrome release channel. So here uh, you can find the detail of latest Chrome browser version. Stable version 122.0, beta version 123.0, dev version 123.0, dev upcoming version 124.0 and entry version 124.0. Okay, so if you want to execute your test cases on any of these browsers, so what you can do actually, you can download the Chrome browser version for your respective platform by copying this link. Okay, so once you will copy this link, you can basically download the Chrome browser and along with that, you can download the respective Chrome driver exe file as well. You just copy this link because I am using the Win64, so I can just copy it and once you hit the URL, you will get the Chrome driver exe file for the respective browser versions. Okay. In the same way, we can do for the beta and candy release. 
So I hope you got the idea. If you need to execute your test cases on the latest browser versions, so how you can get the binary and the exe file. Okay. This was the manual approach, but we will see that how we can execute our test cases on these latest browser without manually downloading these binary files and exe files. Okay. So let's create a new class here and name is CFT. Select this public static environment and uh, let me use this code. Change the URL to google.com. So, friends, if you have noticed that I am not setting any driver.ex path here because I am using the concept of Selenium Manager here. So, I don't need to use any kind of the driver. Dot exe path here, but still my program will run successfully. So let me quickly check here. One more thing I want to show you that I am using the Chrome browser version as 122.0. Okay, let me execute. Okay, so you can see like it is successfully launched the Google.com. Now let's see that if I need to execute my test cases on the Chrome browser version 115. So you can see like my Chrome browser version is 112 here and I need to execute my test cases on 115. So what I need to do? You people can say that I need to download the Chrome browser version and uh, then I can execute my test cases. But I don't think that these are very feasible approaches. So I will show you that how you can execute your test cases on different browser versions without downgrading the Chrome browser. Okay. For that, actually, we need to create the object of the Chrome Options class. So let me write Chrome Options CEO equals to new Chrome Options. And uh, let's import correct package for Chrome options. Okay. And uh, now, with the help of this Chrome options object, co dot, there is a method called set browser version. And here we can pass the browser version on which we want to execute our test case. So let's say that I want to execute my test cases on. Chrome browser version 115 and after that we need to pass this Chrome object inside this and let's execute program again and see what happens now. Close this one. So what happened here actually it will download the Chrome browser binary which means Chrome browser and the Chrome driver.exe file so that it can execute the test cases on the Chrome browser version 115. That's why it is taking some time. Okay. Now, if you notice here, browser got successfully launched and saying that Chrome for testing B. 115.0 is only for automated testing for regular browsing use a standard version of chrome that creates automatically okay so this browser is for the testing purpose only now let's say i need to execute my test cases on 116 so simply what we need to do we just need to change the version from here all right and again it will download the Chrome binary and exe file for this 116 and it will launch the Chrome browser version here. And as it is downloading both items, so that's why it is taking some time. Okay, so here you can see Chrome for testing B116, which means now the browser version is 116. So we can execute our test cases on this browser version as well. 
So in the same way, like if you want to execute uh, our test cases on any of these browser versions like Stable, Beta, Dev, or Canary, so simply what you need to do, you just need to change the details of the channel. I am using the beta now, so ideally my test cases should be executed on the beta version, and that beta version will one twenty three point two. So let me execute it. So here you can see the Chrome part testing is 123.0. So in the same way, we can execute our test cases on these Dave, Dave upcoming can rebuild as well. So let's type for this canary. It has launched Chrome for testing. Browser 124.0 and same version is mentioned here. Now let's say that I want to check like where these binary files and the driver is getting stored. So we can use one method Selenium Manager dot get instance dot get driver path. Okay, capabilities option is boolean and the if this has false dot browser path and we can store it in a one variable string browser path okay so in the same way we can get path of the driver exe as well okay so we just need to change one parameter here that is the Driver path, okay, and can store inside a string variable. Print both the browser path and the driver path. So we can write the so browser path is. And uh, driver path is and now let's execute our test cases on the Chrome browser 119 and uh, we can see where it is storing the uh, Chrome browser binary and Chrome driver exe file. Okay, let's execute it. I think I made the mistake, so it should be get driver path. So here you can see it has given us browser path as well as the driver path. So let's go to this path. Okay, so the browser path is C program files 86 Google Chrome application Chrome.exe. So let's go here. C program files Google Okay, so this is the browser path, and uh, we talk about this driver. So driver path is inside this. Okay, see users. Okay, so go here, users, and uh, here inside this cache selenium, cache selenium, and uh, from driver. Win 64, and here you can see it has downloaded from driver exe for the respective browser version. Okay, and you can see like so whatever browser I have used so far, it has downloaded driver exe for those respective browsers here. Okay, friends, so I hope you got. A fair understanding that how you can execute your test cases on the different browser versions. And you don't need to download the Chrome browser at all. Okay. Along with that, you can execute your test cases on the latest browser versions as well. So, friends, that's it for today's video. I hope it is helpful. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel.
Thank you so much.